Research on vaccines for Ebola, COVID-19, and other pathogens are crucial for our health and safety, but they're for future use and usually don't make money immediately. So big pharmaceutical companies may not pick up the vaccines and therapies, so funding needs to come from somewhere else. I got to visit the Texas Biomedical Research Institute to learn more about crucial government funding called BARDA. Right here in San Antonio, scientists are working in these labs at Texas Biomed to try to curb future pandemics like COVID, Ebola, or Zika. The research is crucial, but it's pricey and may not be used for years, so funding is tricky. That's where BARDA comes in. The Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority was established essentially as an emergency response arm in the Department of Health and Human Services. Texas Biomedical Research Institute Vice President Corey Hallam says the government funding called BARDA focuses on the discovery of therapies, vaccines, drugs, and diagnostics in preparation of disease outbreaks. An easy example, the COVID-19 vaccine's mRNA technology, which has been around for decades, just never had financial support to go commercial. Which has since become a platform that has tons of opportunities. They're looking at that as a platform to go after multiple different viruses. Texas Biomed also worked on an Ebola vaccine that was just deployed to Uganda where there was a massive outbreak. And in fact, going back to 2014, even deployments then on some of the Ebola work we were doing. Proving the importance of continued funding from agencies like BARDA. The emergence of a new disease or a new pathogen in the world is not only uh, increasing in probability on an annual basis as we encroach and grow in population and move into new areas, but the ability for that even asymptomatically to move anywhere in the world is essentially one airplane right away. That's Hallam says proactively right looking right forward right will not only save we countless lives, but also prevent entire economies from collapsing. Now, there is always the chance that government funding for BARDA drops, but Hallam says given the public understanding of what a pandemic can do, it's likely that the important funding will continue long into the future.